Hey everybody, in this iClone Basics tutorial, we're going to talk about selecting objects in your scene. So a lot of fun stuff coming up here. Uh, to start off, you want to make sure that you have your Select tool uh, selected up here in the top of your toolbar. Uh, you can also use the Q hotkey to make sure that's enabled. And if you want to select any object, it's pretty simple. Just left click on it. So I can left click on these spheres, on the character, on the camera, and you'll notice that the contents of the modified panel uh, will change every time depending on what we click on. Okay, so pretty straightforward. However, if you have these uh, transform uh, uh, cursors selected, like the uh, pan and move, for example, this move one, uh, you can just all do the same thing. You can select each item and it'll come up with the, uh, the movement gizmo. Same with rotation. If I have rotation selected, I can single left click on anything and it'll be selected. And uh, same with scale as well. Okay, just like that. Now, however, if you have the camera control selected, such as uh, something like zoom or pan or orbit, for example, if I select zoom and I want to select a different object, if I click once, it's not nothing's going to happen. I need to double click it, okay, in order to select it. If I have my camera, I need my camera functions or camera tools enabled there, okay. Same with this camera over here. Uh, but what I normally do is I normally just have the select uh, tool enabled using the Q hotkey, and it's easy to select objects that way. One way to multiple select objects in your scene is actually to click and drag in your viewport. So if I click and drag from the top left and I head to the bottom right, what's going to happen is that any object or character or camera or whatever that's touching my selection box, so it doesn't have to be encompassed, it's just touching my selection box, will be selected. So in this case, all four of these items here, these three spheres and our character, will be selected. Um, if I click from the top right and click and drag to the bottom left, however, only the objects that are fully encompassed by my selection box will be selected. So in this case, only the green sphere will be selected, even though we have multiple objects uh, touching the selection box. Okay, so only the green sphere is selected. If I click and drag from the top left, multiple objects, click and drag from the top right, only the objects fully encompassed by the selection box will be selected. Okay, if you want to select multiple objects at the same time, you can hold down the control key and click in your viewport. Okay, I can select all the items just like this. And to deselect them, hold the control key and deselect, select whatever you want, however many things you want to be selected in your scene. Pretty simple. Okay, let's take a look now at the scene manager. So you should have a scene manager over here on the left. And in your scene manager, you'll find all of your items. You can select the individual items from here. And the scene manager is also where you can lock items, okay? You can see beside every prop or character, there's a lock uh, function, okay? Uh, you can lock this. So, for example, if I'm happy with the position and everything of my uh, green ball, I can just click lock on that. And if I click and drag my selection, what's going to happen is everything's going to be selected except for the green ball, which I locked, okay? If I, wanted to add, if I wanted to add my gray ball to that selection, I can lock the gray ball as well and left click and drag, and what's going to happen? This gray ball in the back is not selected, and our green sphere is not selected. Now you can lock and unlock multiple items at the same time as well. So say for example I wanted to unlock both my gray ball in the background there and my green ball simultaneously. Well, I can hold control and click on both of them, and then just click the lock button, and it's going to unlock both of them. Okay, so you can multiple lock and multiple unlock items in your screen. Now, if your items are locked, the only way to select them will be in the scene manager, okay? So if I have my green ball selected, I can't click it in my uh, viewport. However, I can select it from my scene manager over here, okay? If I wanted to modify any of the attributes. If you want to select an accessory, uh, for example, like an accessory on a character, if I click on the character, you can see I can select those uh, goggles uh, from our character just by clicking on them and select the character like this. Another way is, you know, go into the hierarchy here and select it that way as well. Okay, so you can select the uh, uh, items separately. Uh, the accessories will always be under the hierarchy of the character. And, for example, in this reflective wall, we have a couple of weird boxes that are part of that as well. If you want to select all the items in your scene, uh, like all the props, for example, what you can do is you can just click on the prop item in your scene manager, and that will select all the props in your scene. If you want to select all the avatars in your scene, you can click on avatar. And that'll select, there's only one in this case, but it'll select all of them. Okay. Now it won't select anything, uh, further, uh, further in on the hierarchy. For example, this reflective wall. If I click on props, it's going to select all the parent, uh, items, all the parent props. Okay. But it won't select anything that's attached 
to any of the props. Just keep that in mind. If I want to select those as well, I can hold control and click on both of those in addition. Now, in addition to the control function, you can also use the shift key. For example, if I want to select a certain range of objects, I can hold the shift key down and just select all these except for the uh, gray ball. The gray ball might feel excluded, but then of course I can hold control and click on that and include that as part of my selection as well. So using the shift will allow you, the shift key will allow you to uh, select a range and control, uh, holding control will allow you to select additional individual items. Um, so the scene manager as well is very useful for selecting things such as terrains uh, and water and other locked objects that you can't normally select in your viewport. So just keep that in mind. All right, so I think that's about all there is to cover for the object select function in uh, iClone. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot, a couple of tips along the way. And make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.